Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating a glow in the hand like that found on models that are often psychic or spellcasters or, you know, basically we want to create the impression that he's about to emanate some sort of, you know, ability from his hand, kind of like he's going to, I don't know, shoot lightning from his hands or something. For example, here we have a dark angel. And to get us started, we're going to use some Xeris Purple. Now, what we're going to do here is going to be a little bit different from the uh, normal cutting glow. We're not going to go for a blue glow as we often see with psychers. I'm going to go for something a little bit more like magenta, just for something a little bit different. A little helping of a Lemayan medium, break it down into a glaze, and then I just begin laying the inside portion of the hand uh, with this color. And of course, uh, I'm trying to concentrate most of the detail on the inward surface, not so much on the outer surface. Here you can see I'm applying it just between the fingers, again, just to kind of create that illusion that there's a glow between the, the fingers. Uh, of course, we're not going for anything too uh, crazy here as we really kind of imagine the beginning of the glow. And then uh, once that first initial glaze is ready, then I come in with a little bit more, uh, pretty much just a little bit of the thinned out Zeris purple uh, and begin laying it into some areas. Again, just kind of fill out the color and some of those details. He's got like these extra little details running in his hands and such. Kind of like, you know, like some sort of like, you know, fiber bundles or something like along those lines. Screamer pink is next. And with this Screamer pink here, we're going to quickly grab a little dollop and add it into the Zeris purple, giving us uh, approximately a one-to-one -one mix type of ratio. Uh, of course, I always say roughly, but... Uh, uh, you know, again, it's uh, pretty much just looking for the halfway point between the Screamer Pink and the Xerus Purple. And this is just to establish the transition into the more magenta side, which if you're going from purple, uh, you're basically going a little bit more reddish. Magenta is not quite purple. It's more of a reddish kind of purplish kind of color. And that's really kind of what we're going to go for here. And as you can see here, again, I just kind of reinforce just closest to the uh, the first knuckles of the hand kind of thing of uh, where the glow is emanating from within the fingers there. And of course, uh, basically what we're doing is we're concentrating most of our brush strokes on the central portion of the hand, basically the palm. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to build up along the first uh, couple digits of each of the little fingers. And then of course what I'll do is I'll catch the uh, ends of the fingertips, uh, kind of like in the halfway point, kind of like if you ever look at your finger and it kind of has like a little point to it. Uh, often we're going to catch that underside because as you imagine, the glow is emanating from the center of the palm kind of thing and uh, emanating outward. Emperor's Children is next. Now one of the beauty things about uh, this uh, kind of pose here is that the, where we're working our OSL in is not really going to interact with too much as the hand is kind of projected out from the rest of the uh, model versus if we were to do the sword or something like that where we'd be inclined to you know uh, put a little bit of uh, light sourcing on the uh, cowl and you know other areas as well so but with this hand here, we, again, we did the one-to-one uh, -one mix ratio here of the uh, Emperor's Children and Screamer Pink, just basically giving us the halfway point. And then once I've uh, laid a little bit down, of course, we're you know we're switching to our finest detail brush here because, again, we're trying to build those little gradients on each of the little thing, uh, each of the little digits. Again, we want to create more and more glow, but we also want to. Uh, be observant of the details. We're not just simply laying the color into the area in just some kind of big massive blob. We want to have the imagined light source coming from the palm where, you know, why the palm? I have no idea, but, you know, again, it's just, you know, where we imagine the, uh, the power is emanating from, so to speak. And of course, once we have done that, we come in with just a bit more Emperor's Children, just kind of lay some more color down. Then next we move to White Scar. And as you would imagine, once we lay this onto a palette, we're going to take a little dollop and we're going to mix it into the Emperor's Children. Again, kind of going for a bit of a one-to-one. -one. Uh, often it's a one-to-one -one because uh, we're looking for that 50-50 mixture and it's just going to give us that in-between kind of gradient. And of course, when we're laying this down here, I'm kind of trying to be observant of some of those little details on the palm, on that uh, kind of uh, digit that runs along or that uh, part that runs along where the knuckles would be. And then, of course, along the first digit, uh, first portion of the digits as well. And then, of course, I'll my get just the fingertips there just as i mentioned before to kind of capture that uh you know the the underside of the, the finger grip you know as you can see it's uh, pretty straightforward as we slowly build the color curse so, you know now we're getting to some really fine fine detail here because again we do want to make sure that we're not 
you know, overloading the area in color because again, it just kind of looks like a big old mess. Next, you see, finally, we just lay a little dollop of white in there, and that's just to represent the central core of that buildup of light that's emanating from his hand, like he's just about to start, you know, shooting lightning or something like that. Carbure Crimson is next, and this is to just help blend all the colors. Carbure Crimson is a nice deep red color. Of course, we're going to build this color out towards the fingertips, allowing that uh, to give us a little bit more of a transition in those areas. Uh, we're not really going to hit the palm with anything because we don't really need to, uh, to uh, take that down just a bit. But we do want to have a bit more of a color gradient and again just give us a little bit more contrast push that light uh so that you know it again it makes that palm feel a lot brighter but once it's all said and done and you can see it's all dry you can see we have this kind of emanating glow from the palm but that's it it's easy as that well i hope you found that quick tip useful and informative you can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now if you're not already a vault member you can sign up for a free seven day trial be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault and again thank you for watching commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming